My father was a master at creating relationships. He had such a strong sense of who the other person was and how to reach and connect to him. With that came his deep love for Jewish tradition and perhaps mostly the Jewish people. He reached out to so many neighbors, many of members of the Bay Knesset, the community, and even those he came across in everyday transactions. The people in the supermarket, on the train, so many have a story about him. But nonetheless, I need to tell you more of his story. He was born in the town of Mujievo in southeast Czechoslovakia. He was the second of six children, living connected to his grandparents. There are endless stories of the love and values within the home, of the love between the parents and most paramount, the grandparents. My father absorbed it all, and he himself was an eager, ambitious student that questioned and persisted. But embedded in the curiosity and persistence, there was always a love and kindness for the one he was working with. His childhood ended quickly. He was sent to yeshiva at the age of 12, first in Karatsky and later in Zenta. He was an outstanding student, but the Germans started their invasion. He was the shaliach chosen by the rabbis to implement the deal to save the Jews of Petroslava in Romania. He was then taken into the Hungarian army's Jewish division, and one day his division was put on a train to Auschwitz. He spoke of the horrific train ride and of the selections. He explained further that when he arrived in Auschwitz, and fellow Jews told him that the selections ended in the smoke from the crematorium, but he refused to believe them. He was determined to find his family and work hard to save them. He explained to us that dying did not scare him. He sought instead to accomplish a mission. The opportunity arose. They were working with ammunition near Thiel in France and found unguarded spots that the partisans knew to keep an eye out for. He covered for his best friend, but within moments the Germans caught on and the escape was foiled. He was severely beaten and set to be hung, but shared with us the thoughts in his mind as they were ready to hang him. He realized the importance of walking with pride and being an example of strength. He also searched for a phrase that would most represent his ideals. It was Am Yisrael. And with those thoughts, the Germans miraculously disbanded, and, untied, and he was untied by his friends and later liberated in Bergen-Belsen, April 15, 1949. Since my parents had moved to Israel, every April 15th, they would go to the Kotel together to mark this momentous day. This year, although my father was already diagnosed and ill, we were determined as a family to celebrate this event with him. We all joined with the children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, marking the victory 71 years after his liberation. But the true beauty of my father was his ability to love. He re-met my mother after the war, and they quickly fell in love and decided to marry. They were separated for two years because he came to Israel to carry out further missions with illegal immigration, and my mother went to America. In November of 1949, he joined her. They were married and started to recreate normal life. He was determined to make a future, becoming the businessman of many avenues. The beginning was difficult, but he was successful. He became a Jewish activist. He became involved in Russian Jewry struggles, JDL, Israel bonds, supporting the state of Israel and helping create its business networks. 
He went on to support building and developing in Yehuda and Shalrom. Chevron held a very close pace in his heart, and every year with Perry and the boys, he would dab the nets of Hoshana Rabba to commemorate my mother's father's yurtzai. But by far, what is strongest in my heart is the love that he had for all of his family. In his gentle, loving, and yet determined way, he was always committed to seeing that we were all settled, secure, and well taken care of. He wanted to know how our days were going, what new endeavors we were up to, what we were thinking. He guided us and led us by supporting our strengths. He fell in love with my husband even before he really met him, and they have had an everlasting bond of love and admiration. My children have always been so close to him as well from our early years in New York to even the years before they were leaving in, living in Israel. They came for Chagim in an occasion, making each one more special. My parents joined us here in Israel over 18 years ago, making Jerusalem their home. He was committed to enjoying his time together with my mother. Their relationship is an outstanding love story. Shabbat was the haven for the family. We shared his stories, ideas about the Pasha of the week, and sometimes politics. But perhaps his best joys were Chagim, both Pesach and Hanukkah, that were spent in beautiful parts of the country. He took the greatest pleasure in having us all enjoying being together. Despite his illness, he was able for many months to continue with his routine. It was only very recently that illness struck harder. And despite it, just two weeks ago, we spent one of the most special Shabbats together up on the porch. Even during his last days in the hospital, he managed to touch the staff as they understood the very special man whose life they were trying to save. I want to thank all of you who have reached out to him, who have been there for him, and us especially in these difficult last times. I pray that my mother should continue to see much nachas from us and continue to feel his love. He will always be at your side, mommy. And to my children, Chatanim and Kala, who I can't thank enough for the respect and love that they have always had and will continue to have for him. And most paramount, my husband Perry, who loves, who loves my father as a true son. He left no stone, stone unturned during all, doing all within his abilities and even more. Throughout his life and during the parts of his illness, he, Perry was many times the doctor who found the best answer. <coughs> Daddy, I struggle with saying goodbye. You are part of me. You have made me who I am. I carry you in my heart. I love you forever. And I know your love will stay with me forever. May you be blessed, Mishamayim, and continue to watch over us and Am Yisrael. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.